Hey, what's up folks? If you're looking for the best graphics card, you've landed in the perfect spot. We've done the research to bring you the best graphics card options for this year. Considering price, performance, and usage scenarios, stick around to discover which graphics card is the best fit for you. You can find all the product links with the best deals in the description box below. Our list is in no particular order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end. Let's get started. Number 1. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Super NVIDIA refreshed its 40 series lineup at the start of 2024 with the new Super models. Of the three, the RTX 4070 Super will likely interest be of interest to the most people. It inherits the same 599 MSRP as the non-Super 4070, with all the latest features of the NVIDIA Ada Lovelace architecture. It's slightly better than a linear boost in performance relative to price, which is as good as you can hope for these days. There appear to be plenty of RTX 4070 Superbase MSRP models available at retail. We like the stealthy black aesthetic of the Founders Edition, and it runs reasonably cool and quiet. But third-party cards with superior cooling are also available, sometimes at lower prices than the reference card. The 4070 Superbumps core counts by over 20. Compared to the vanilla 4070, and in our testing we've found that the general lack of changes to the memory subsystem doesn't impact performance as much as you might expect. It's still 16th faster overall, even with the same VRAM capacity and bandwidth, though helped by the 33% increase in L2 cache size. Compared to the previous generation Ampere GPUs, even with less raw bandwidth, the 4070 Super generally matches or beats the RTX 3080 Ti and delivers clearly superior performance than the RTX 3080. What's truly impressive is that it can do all that while cutting power use by over 100 watts. Number 2. AMD Radeon RX 7600 The AMD Radeon RX 7600 is here to bring AMD RDNA3 to the underdollar 300 pound 300 segment, and it's got plenty of performance despite its lower price tag. Its 1080p performance is absolutely fantastic for the price, even giving the NVIDIART X3060TI12GB a run for its money. Its 1440p performance is also pretty decent, considering that the card only has 8GB VRAM and a 128 bit memory bus. In terms of gaming performance, you can easily get 60 frames per second on all of the best PC games at 1080p, with most of those running on the highest graphics settings. For more demanding games like Cyberpunk 2077, there might need to be some settings tweaks, but it's still definitely doable, especially with AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Its ray tracing performance is still behind NVIDIA's last-gen mid-range cards, but RDNA 3 has closed much of the gap between the two, so you don't have to sacrifice ray tracing completely just by going with a cheaper AMD card. Number 3. Intel Arc A 580 Intel's been striving to break into the graphics card market, and while its attempts so far have been met with mixed results, its Arc A580 deserves special mention. New budget-priced graphics cards are rare indeed these days, and the few cards we've seen released under $200 have not impressed, stripped down, and good for little more than use as a display adapter. That's not the case with the ARC A580, however, which is priced below $200 with performance that's within a stone's throw of higher-priced competitors like the AMD Radeon RX 7600. No question, the AMD Radeon RX 7600 is the faster card, but the ARC A580 comes closer than you'd expect for a card that costs almost $100 less which makes it a solid budget option. If you're looking to game but can't afford to spend more than $200 on a graphics card, the ARC A580 is arguably the best option you've got. It's not ideal for older video games, but the ARC A580 makes up for this in other ways. It has surprisingly strong ray tracing performance for its price, and it is perfectly capable of running many newer games at playable frame rates at high detail settings. You'll want to stick to 1080p with this card for that, 
but gaming at higher resolutions is technically possible if you dial down graphics settings. Number 4. AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT X The most powerful gaming GPU on the market for under $1,000 while outperforming NVIDIA's RTX 4080 overall, despite being substantially cheaper. The new second-gen Ray accelerators in the RX 7900 XTX makes 4K gaming on ultra settings, with ray tracing a reality on an AMD card, something that the last flagship AMD card, the RX 6950 XT, couldn't quite accomplish. Its rasterization performance is also second only to the Goliath, that is the RTX 409. Oh, but that is really an industrial-strength GPU in consumer hardware's clothing. It's not without faults, including falling behind the NVIDIA RTX 4000 series in terms of ray tracing, while still beating out the RT performance of the NVIDIA RTX 3090, and some uneven creative workload performance. But overall, this is the one graphics card we would recommend to any gamers out there who are looking to finally upgrade their GPU after years of graphics card shortages, and they're willing to pay the relatively cheaper premium for it. Number 5. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 is expensive. It also requires a 16-pin connector or adapter. And it's very, very big. But, the first release from NVIDIA's new 4000 series is an absolute powerhouse that can tackle anything you need it to. It is the most powerful GPU out there, and likely will be for a very long time to come. In our testing, we found it performed significantly better than the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090, with two to four times the performance in synthetic benchmarks, and up to 100% improved frame rates with some games. What's more, DLSS 3 is a revolution in terms of gaming frame rates, and in games that support it, the RTX 4090 with frame generation turned on will absolutely push even the best gaming monitors to the limit of what they can do. That said, this is far more GPU than most people will probably ever need this decade, and at the price it's selling for, you have to really, really want this card, especially at the prices it is selling for right now. If you simply have to have the most powerful graphics card there is, however, this is the card you want. Number 6. AMD Radeon RX 7700 X TAMD's latest generation mid-range high-end offering follows the usual path, trimming specs compared to the top models with a smaller Navi 32 GPU that can sell at lower prices. Both the RX 7800 XT and 7700XT use the same Navi 32 GCD, but the 7800XT has four MCDs, while the 7700XT cuts that number down to three, as well as having fewer CUs enabled on the GCD. The result of the cuts is that the RX 7700XT ends up around 14 slower than the 7800XT, and currently costs 14 less as well. Linear scaling of price and performance, in other words. We like the 7800 XT and 7900 GRE more, which is why it's higher up on this list, but the 7700 XT still fills a niche. Basically, any of these three AMD GPUs warrants consideration, depending on your budget. The closest competition from NVIDIA comes in the form of the RTX, 4060 Ti 16 GB. Number 7. AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT. The Radeon RX 6700 XT. There's a certain level of pomp and excitement that comes with every major architectural overhaul, though perhaps we're not giving enough love to what comes after. Those more affordable graphics cards that actually bring that new technology to the masses are just as important if not more so, to many gamers eyeing up an upgrade. The AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT was the beginning of that journey for RDNA 2, the GPU with the grunt of a next-gen console for under $500. We're not talking about the cheapest of chips here, either. The Radeon RX 6700 XT is still a great performing card by most counts but its price tag has slipped considerably into the more affordable end of the market, 
and that's high up on a list of things we absolutely love to see. There's more to the Radeon RX 6700 XT than a simple halving of silicon from AMD's top RDNA 2 chip, the Radeon RX 6900 XT. In some ways, sure, it's a straight slice down the middle. The RX 67000 XT features 40 compute units, CUs for a total of 2,560 RDNA 2 cores, and is equipped with 64 ROPs, exactly half of the maximum configuration of the Navi 21 GPU. But the card comes with more than its fair share of memory and infinity cache.